did the whole thing and then just did press record. I've, I've done that before. <laughs> oh no! I've had to be like, I'm sorry, I can't do a reaction for this one because I already watched it. <laughs> <laughs> Doctor Who, series 11. It's here. This is Connor. Hello. He's a fat mate, slash part time friend. Part time. Yeah. Part time. And yeah, 10 months of waiting and it's Doctor Who time. Jodie Whittaker, new theme, even though we won't get it this time. New Doctor, new, new companions, new TARDIS, new everything, new showrunner. I'm nervous, but I'm excited. I'm really hoping it's going to be good, because if not, then the show's probably like <laughs> fucked in a major way. Um, so yeah, are you excited? Yeah, it's a mixture of nerves and excitement. Um, I mean, everything coming out of it so far has been positive. Yeah. Especially with the reviews, everyone's saying that she's great. Um, it seems to be okay. The only worry I have is that the, there's apparently no, like, series arc. Mm. That's the only issue I have. I'm not sure how just standalone episodes are going to work. Yeah. But I'm hoping they're not, like, entirely standalone. Mm. We will find out. I think it's good that this one's, like, a bit longer. Yeah. So this is an hour. Even though it's only just longer. <laughs> yeah, we'll see. It's a new format they're trying as well, so everything is new. Yeah. I feel like this is the most I've anticipated the series starting since 2005. Which yeah. feels like an age ago, because I was nine years old. Oh, Christ. <clears throat> but anyway, um, it's going to start in about five, six minutes. Very exciting. So yeah, we'll see you then. Sorry, new. I don't like you. <laughs> so today, I'm gonna talk about the greatest woman I ever met. Smart, funny, caring. It's me. Special. Um. Oh, <laughs> uh, me. That one really looks so well shot. <laughs> I don't know. That's what I was thinking. Look strange. <laughs> Yeah. 
Now we're gonna go to that yeah, thing. Yeah. Tangy, that's the TARDIS. I really hope it is now. <laughs> You've made me really happy. <laughs> oh, hello. Same colour. It's the Dean? Yes, please. Who's up a lot? Feel, can you feel? Can you Stay feel it? Right. <laughs> that map did me the world of good. Have a comfy sofa. <laughs> me. It's just really good just in that without the code. Yeah. Oh. Hello. Is that a but it that is an alien? Oh, the budget's gone up, isn't it? Won't be seen the rest of the series yet. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh. That day for that guy. I did say you would see his mate on that day. True. I reckon these two aliens must be at war with each other. Uh, yeah, very much Alien vs Predator 2. Yeah. I would have done the same. I wouldn't. I love. Write the sheet. A few seconds later. If I die quickly. Oh, convenient. Wow. That's more This positional video. <laughs> Is this moment when you're sure you're about to die and then you're gone. It's terrifying. Right now, oh, I'm just stranger to myself. <laughs> That's him. Where'd they come from? Two species of war using Earth as a battleground. That's what I said. Are you Christian? <laughs> Why would you do that? Kill him. You deserve to die. Eat my salad. Is it all he got in there? Salad? What if he's chucking it? Why do you buy it? Oh! Nice. Crispy. <laughs> oh, oh, it was a kebab. <laughs> Biggest crime in Doctor Who history. Always ask a bus driver. Half organic. We wouldn't be pushing my kill first. Oh. Or hello, as most people would say. The, the one that's not on main companion. It's building his own face. That'd be gross. <laughs> oh, that's disgusting. Oh my god, everything in my body is Oh, it's the dots. He needs some skincare. Tim Shaw. Is a big blue cheat. Oh, oh. cheat, cheat, yes, yes. <laughs> that one. <laughs> it's the accent. Not every grand does this lucky. Oh, he's a knight. Is he two days away from retirement? Why do you think you're. Oh. Well, at least he got to stick to his grand daughter last time. The tooth to put on the face? I can't stop thinking about the teeth on his face. Yes. It, it looks neat. Ah, uh, this is the Tom Baker reference. Yes. Okay, Don't worry, I've got one. Really? Yeah, duct tape. <laughs> you can't fix it with duct tape. You're not using enough duct tape. <laughs> That'll protect you from the fall. Yeah. So I'm just trying to knock your face off with the helmet on. <laughs> He's gonna die, and oh. Bradley's gonna feel so guilty that he's gonna have to travel with Ryan to make sure he's safe. Look after him, yeah. Oh, I don't want this to happen. I know exactly who I am. I'm the doctor. Sorting out fair play throughout oh. the universe. <laughs> Get off this planet 
Sort of sad, I think, in it didn't feel Doctor Who y, but then there were other bits where I was like, Yeah, no, this feels yeah, very. I, I actually genuinely loved it. Yeah, I think she's gonna be great. Yeah, um, I loved her. I hope Ryan's not so much of a dick to Bradley as he was in this episode because that's gonna bother me if he yeah, is. Yeah, I think that'll be like the arc that they have. Yeah, because he had a little look, he gave a little look when he said that he Bradley should have died instead of yeah. um, Grace, and I was like. Oh, I swear to God, if he brings that up again, <laughs> I'll be fuming. Well, he's grieving, I suppose. Um, yeah. Who is your favourite of the, like, the companions so far? Um, Bradley is obviously always going to be my yeah. favourite. Um, but Yaz was sort of... She was one I thought I'd like the least. Yeah. Out of all of A them lot of the reviews said she was the most like underwritten in this one. Yeah, but and even... I, think, like, I agree with that, but I still yeah, liked her. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She, felt, she didn't have much to do in this episode. But I think this episode was focusing, obviously, because they wanted to get the weight of Grace as emotional Yeah, party. they focused on that kind of family. Yeah, thing. yeah, and it was interesting to see that, because obviously they didn't say what Graham was to any of them no. beforehand, so it was interesting to find out that he was their granddad, even though both of them don't look like they're old enough to be grandparents. Mm. But, um, yeah, I think Yaz will come into it in the next episode, it looked like she had a lot more to do. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, she seemed... Very down to earth. A lot of it seemed very grounded. Yeah. Compared to what it has been in recent years. Setting it in Sheffield with like the accents and everything, it kind of felt quite um I don't know, homely. Yes. And especially, family oriented. Especially when they went to the police station you sort of thought, Ah yeah, there yeah. isn't there isn't a warmth like to it. Yeah. That I really enjoyed. Yeah. And um the monster. Oh, it's weird teeth. I hope if they oh. make an action figure of that I'm buying it. Oh god. Like <laughs> Oh. Just thinking of it, weird patterns and stuff really gets me like yeah. yeah, yeah. But it was really cool design. That's a, I, if they do a pop vinyl for that <laughs> monster, that's the one I'm getting. Yeah. And that's the idea behind him. Yeah. Um, you know, you can't do like a <clears throat> super complicated plot no. for the first one. No. I think they did a really good job of making it an interesting enough villain in a plot. But yeah. That's not like the main focus. Yeah, and um, it also can be like retconned into they've been doing the species have been coming to Earth yeah. for years because he was like we they pick a random person so every time there's someone that's just died mysteriously they've gone it's like yeah. that explains now what's happened. Yeah, but yeah, I think that was cool and I like that they because even I thought it was two aliens battling each other. Yeah, and it's good and they that just... they thought that yeah. as well and I was like ah oh, so. Yeah. At least I could work it out. Yeah, which I is, didn't even have that theory. I'm <laughs> just like, no, I have no idea. Which it was very, um, very Sherlock how they had a mystery, and they sort of you had all the clues there, and you worked it out alongside yeah. Yeah. the the protagonist. Whereas in recent years, it's been more. Here's this. I'm. Yeah. I know what's happening straight away. But. And I think it looked 
really, really good. Because I know they have like a new effects company, don't they? Yeah, this series. Millennial FX, I yeah, think. I think it was like the mill, I think it was called yeah. beforehand, but it was brand new. Yeah. I thought it looked really, really cool. It looked it looked great, and the fact that it was in a different aspect ratio, yeah. that this stuff bugged me at the start because there was like black lines mm. at the top and the bottom. That was a bit, it took a bit of an adjustment, but it looked great, and I mean, obviously their budget's gone up a bit. Yeah. Judging by the look of the alien, and it was practical effects, so yeah. that means it's not that gonna, yeah. it's not gonna date as much as it would if it was CGI. Yeah. Um, interesting that the TARDIS didn't appear at all. Yeah. Like I knew it was, it, we weren't gonna see like the interior and stuff, but I figured we'd see like at least it'd be yeah. there. I thought that's I thought the ending of that episode when yeah. they were in set, I thought we'd like to see like the box just. Yeah, exactly. Because it's now weird that it's put them in the middle of space. Yeah. With no TARDIS there, so unless it's it must them, like. I imagine it must like start a bit appearing. I don't know. Or they well, get picked up by. Well, yeah, because in the trailer the there was that space. They were a spaceship landed. Yeah. And then they were with those people. So obviously that. They must get must picked up pick by those up. people. Yeah. My biggest concern going mm. into this was kind of an unspoken concern I had was, say what you will about the Moffat era, I actually like it. Don't attack me. Um, I always found he was really good at doing emotion and doing all that stuff. Yeah. And I always got really emotionally invested and. I was worried we weren't going to get that. Mm. And I don't know why, because Chibnall did Poor Church. And yeah. I got really emotional. Chibnall did Poor Church, especially. Yeah, and that kind of, this completely quelled that worry for me. Yeah. That um, scene at the end of Bradley's speech, well, Graham's speech, I'm going to call him Bradley, Bradley. but the whole Bradley series, more than you in advance. Yeah. Um, but that, there's a lot of emotion there. Yeah. And I really related to, um, what's his name? Ryan. Yeah. In, um, that moment, you know, losing your hand and everything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. that's a story I very much connect to. Yeah. So I really kind of felt the brunt of that. Yeah, mm. I mean. Yeah, I tear that quite a few occasions at that whole sequence. Yeah. So I don't think, um, last time I probably talked to who made me feel like sad emotions would probably be when Matt Smith left. Yeah. So that was a good five years ago that's now? 2013, was it? It's Christmas. Yeah, it's five years ago. <laughs> yeah. So that was the last time. It hasn't done it that often, to be fair. But yeah, so yeah, it was weird. I didn't expect it to be that emotional no. straight off the bat. No, neither did I. And it's pretty like um, dark. Mm. The way that Alien killed. Yeah. The people were like, ele- we well, didn't electrocute them, did it? it the was the skin cold. was that, that naturally cold. Yeah, it froze. Yeah. Froze them. And then he takes out a turf and then puts it on his face. Does yeah. He put it on his face. Or they look like it? teeth. Mm, a couple yeah. of them did look like teeth so I think he did yeah that's gross it is disgusting it's disgusting mm. interesting design though yeah I really liked it it's like the reviewer was like the BBC reviewer was like oh yeah no this alien won't put people behind the sofa and I'm like if a little kid sees that yeah uh, there's this alien that goes around and takes your teeth kills you takes your teeth and puts it on his face yeah like if this was a villain in 2005 when I first started watching this that would have been like no that, like, and you think Gauss Mask Kid was scary in 2005. That yeah. would have that would have put me off for life. The beast in the same pit terrified me. Even yeah, a lot that. of people said that. I've not I've not had that. I think the only thing that properly scared me, other than the gas mask, was the weeping angels. But yeah. after that, there's been jump scares along the way. There's been like creepy stuff. But yeah, like uh, um, was it uh, the one the weird one with Capaldi and the thing on the bed? No, listen. That's it. I was gonna say sleep. But yeah, listen. Sleep no more. It's yeah, that's what I was thinking. Like... No, yeah, listen. When the yeah, that was the only. That's the last time I got like creeped out by an episode. Yeah, that is creepy. Interesting. But uh, but yeah, this one was just off-putting. Yeah, to say the least. And I thought Jodie was just brilliant. Yeah, yeah. It was like when um, like I said, we were it was during the train sequence when she was um saying, "Oh, what are you gonna tell them?" And all that. It reminded me very much of. Eccleston and Rose yeah in um, in Rose when he's like alright you go off and tell them they're not going to believe you and you're going to put everyone in danger mm. it, it hit that a lot maybe because of the northern accent so yeah. I was sort of like oh yeah that clicks and I can see why people were comparing her doctor to David Tennant as well because yeah. there's quite a lot of that energy mm. and we, we were talking before we started filming was she going to have that I am the doctor moment yes like, when she like tells the alien off or whatever uh, yeah because um, we talk about how like every doctor since the show came back has kind of had that big, yeah. This person is the doctor. Yeah. And I think she definitely had that that scene. Yeah. Where she remembered who she was. Yeah, we've had it. Uh, Eccleston, where 
Well, his was very brief when he first meets Rose. Yeah. He comes out the door. David Tennant was um, with the sicker axe. Yeah, no second chances. Um, and then Smith was the Atraxi on yeah. the roof. And Capaldi was obviously the... Um, Our face man. Yeah. Droid. Pushing that guy. Maybe, well, maybe, maybe pushing, pushing that guy. Pushing off. He pushed him. It's implied he pushed him. But it's never explicitly said he no. killed someone. Uh, but yeah, and then also we said about, are we going to see her get into her clothes? Yeah. And we said, we didn't see it with Exton. Well, we didn't. Cause no, he just had it. And then we did see it with Tennant in his episode, and we saw it with Smith, but we didn't see it with Capoli, because mm. he just, next episode, he just appeared had his clothes. Yeah. Um, I like that we saw this one, and I like it was in the charity I, shop. I love well. that it was in the charity shop. That felt very much like, yeah, she's not going to go, like, she's not got tired of the wardrobe yeah. in it. She's not going to go, like, Top shop or H&M and be yeah. like, yeah, all right. And it gonna go it kind of allows people to think, yeah, I could just pop down to the shop and buy that out. Yeah, but people can. Though. That's the thing. A yeah. lot of people come leading up to the series were like, yeah, I managed to find this jacket yeah. and that top and there's a There's a lot of like creativity, I think, to the way they went about it. Yeah. I really like that. It was just charity shop. Yeah. I never even like considered that would be how she got close. Of course, she shouldn't have the Tyler's wardrobe, so yeah. that doesn't happen. Um, I think, yeah, the next big test will be how they handle actual sci-fi. Yeah. Although this is sci-fi, it's still very much grounded in... It's not an alien world. Or, no, yeah. It's yeah. grounded in, like, this could just be a serial killer. Yeah. Whereas now they're going to be in space and there'll be other aliens. And, yeah. And it, there'll be all new aliens as well, because, mm. like you said, there's no returning villains. Yeah. He, I, that's what I'm hoping, a returning some returning characters come back. I'm still holding out for John Barrowman. <laughs> if he can come back this season, that'd be great, but I don't I, think I he don't will. I don't think he will. I think um, he's probably done. I don't think he's done. I think if they come back to him and say, do you want to join, he'll, he'll jump at the chance. If they ask him back, he absolutely would. I just don't know if they'd ask him back. I don't... If they're gonna, it won't be this year, I don't think. No. It might be next this is year. Like, this is your jumping on point for Doctor Who. Yeah, exactly. And they don't want that, especially with the stand around. Yeah. And I think this definitely was a very good jumping on point. Yes. If you haven't seen it before, um, there's no TARDIS to get confused by. You see the origin of the Sonic Screwdriver, which is... So you don't have to worry about that. I really like that she just made that as well. Yeah, that I'm. I'm. I, t- I feel like she's going to be a very hands-on. Doctor. Yes, but I think people are going to be annoyed about how she made some screwdriver. Maybe because, like we were saying during the episode, the past three all came from the TARDIS. Mm. Whereas this one, she's just made, and for some reason, this guy had alien tech, or he didn't. I, I or think was she it from got the thing. It was like a crystal from the thing. Home, yeah, the homing beacon thing. Right. right. Thing. So I she think got, that's where she got the crystal. From. She got a crystal from there. Then she like welded. The rest and then of the she metal. just yeah. So I'm not sure how that because that's not organic like the yeah. other ones have been or implied yeah. to be. So I don't know how people are into that unless maybe she gets the TARDIS and she sticks it in and it then it's like, like revamped. Yeah. Whatever. Updates. Yeah, but it looks like the toy. So unless yeah, they want to make that more would toys. Be her standard. I mean, she could get another one in, like, two seasons. The time she gives her that. Yeah, like, she does two seasons. Apparently used Smith for two seasons, then got his one. Yeah, for that was to sell toys. Yeah. <laughs> Basically. Surprised Good time, though. Didn't come up with some glasses. Yeah, that's true. Uh, yeah, I I enjoyed it. I think she's going to be great. Yeah. Um, I absolutely loved it. It'd be interesting to see how the aliens are. And the weird bit at the end, like, after the episode where it showed, these are the special guests coming. Yeah, the, the coming soon trailer was just... Listing all the guests. It on. looked really cool. It looked like you know the, yeah, they the were framed thing look, well. Looks beautiful. But um, and I only recognised like three of the celebrities coming out. I recognised about half of them, I think. I completely forgot Alan Cumming was going to be in it because that was announced like a. Yeah, ago. I didn't even like, know I got Lee Mack, actually, didn't, he? didn't know Lee Mack was going to be in there. Yeah, he, I think one. he mentioned it on a radio show. Um, who was the first one that came up? I was like, oh, oh. Okay. I can't even. It was someone that I was like, oh, okay. I guess you're here. Uh, but yeah, he looked cool. <laughs> <laughs> Whoever that was. guy is. It was the first one, I think. The first one. Maybe I'll put a note somewhere. Yeah, yeah. If I can, can remember to. <laughs> I'll look it up. Yeah, look it up and let me know. Right. Uh, but yeah. yeah, that was a very strong start, I feel. Yes. I'm interested in seeing like the general consensus. Yeah, I haven't had a look yet. Um, I looked at a chat I'm in and they were like, so I was like, well, that was definitely an episode of Doctor Who. So I'm like, are they going to be like, it was bad, but I haven't had an actual conversation with anyone yet. Yeah, I'm so. excited to find out. I'm excited to find out what my dad thought. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I think he's working, but he'll watch it and let me know, yeah, I'm sure. Don't, t- don't text him and be like, oh, what do you think of this? And then spoil it for me. I can't believe she what died. What do you think about the death? <laughs> the death. <laughs> I, I kind of like the cliffhanger ending as well. Yeah. I, that's 
that's okay. I feel like that's the kind of, and then they said like no, story multi part arts. story. Yeah, but I feel like they might do the occasion for something like that. I'm fine if like every episode leads into the next episode. Kind of like, like yeah, they did that in series ten a lot. The first yes, two episodes. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Was, because um, the smile ended with them landing on the ice river. Oh, didn't yeah, it? yeah, yeah, with the elephant. Elephant yeah. on the ice. Yeah. So it'll be if it does that, that'll satisfy me. I think for like an arc because yeah. I don't want it to be like I compared it to like Family Guy where. Mm. You just could watch an episode and then you don't need to see like the next ten. Yeah. You just watch the next one again. Yeah. Um, because nothing changes, but if it leads in, you'll be like, "Oh, how did they get here?" Mm. So I was kind of like, oh, desperate for more. I didn't feel like an hour. No, I didn't think that. And when we were getting to her trying to find a title, it's like, "Oh, this is the end. Can we not make this two hours long and just mm. do a back to back like other TV shows oh, that'd do? Be cool. Yeah, like a two hour premiere or whatever." But. Yeah. Um, I've got it. There was all rumours saying, oh, maybe they'll release it all in bulk, like a Netflix or yeah, binge watching. Yeah, there was that rumour, wasn't and it? And after watching that episode, I'm like, yeah, I wish they released it in I, bulk. I, yeah, I'm desperate for more. I'm excited. Like, the prospect of waiting a week just seems awful. I know. That's so long. <laughs> oh. Another but that's, that's probably a good thing. Even longer as well, because it's on later next week, so... Oh, God, an extra ten minutes. <laughs> a week and ten minutes away. Oh. Oh. Yeah, that was really, really good. I loved it. Yeah, I'm excited. A very excited. strong start. I'm really excited to see what they're going to do. And yeah. we don't, because they haven't given away like many plots or even episode titles. It's episode two we've got, and then after that we That's don't know it. what's happening. So we don't know. We I mean, know. We've seen set photos of them being like maybe America. Yeah, there's been rumours of like pure historical America stories. Or whatever. Yeah. Stuff like that. Um, a Rosa Parks episode at some point. Yeah, I think that'll be the one that's set in the fifties or sixties. Yeah. Or where that guy that was the guest star that was like in the leather jacket and the hair, he's obviously from the sixties yeah. in America or whatever it was. Mm-hmm. I'm also glad I predicted a couple of things that sort, you did. Of, sort of kinda happened, but I also didn't happen. I still would have would have really loved that thing to be the Talis. I know, it it's what made me think, but then I was like So every generation energy came out and then Yeah. That's what I'm also thinking yeah. is where'd that regeneration energy go? Maybe that's how she'll get the tires back and then they might track it maybe. down or something. I don't know, unless... Or maybe it'd be like, oh, so you really are the Doctor. If what people are saying, like, they didn't recognise her, so shut her out or something. Yeah, maybe, but why would... That doesn't make sense either, though, because mm-hmm. it doesn't do that before, and, like... And that'll make it a, oh, you're a woman, you're not the Doctor, get out. Like, yeah, that's like, true. It, the TARDIS is, and it's proven to be intelligent enough to know the difference between yeah. the Doctor and not the Doctor. Think. Or at Just, least a Time Lord and not a Time yeah. Lord. Maybe Chip not just wanted. Maybe have the story in mind. He's like, I just need to get with the story. Yeah, I mean, like, I'm fine with it. I really like the idea of them hunting down the TARDIS. Yes. I don't know how long it's going to last, whether it's a season arc or if it's just the next episode. Imagine if, like, we don't even see the inside of the TARDIS until the finale or something. If it doesn't doesn't hinder the episodes and restrict where they can go, I think it'd be fine. I was very much like, I need to see the inside of the TARDIS is in the, the first one. I need to no, see the outfit. I need to see the companions. I need to see the Sonic. But actually watching it, yeah, not seeing the TARDIS didn't take away my enjoyment. No, it didn't need to be in there, which is fair. Yeah. But um, yeah, it's going to show up before the end because if they're going back to the 60s or whatever, yeah, that's they true. must, they can't not time travel yeah. without. Unless like, Jack comes back and gives them the water from the flare. That's your prediction. That's it. Yeah, yeah, that's what's going to happen. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, Jack's Confirmed. coming back, episode 3. You heard it here first. Episode 3 literally called Jack's Back. That's oh, why they just, announced just, it. Yeah. Don't, they don't announce this until after the episode is. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I hope. But nah. I'm glad, if there is a reveal like that, I'm glad they haven't spoiled it like they did with John Sim last season. Yeah. So. But. Oh. Exciting times, I yeah, think. Yeah, I'm very excited to check out the rest of the series. Good, it's only 10 episodes. And yeah, be, but at least there'll be a New Year's special. I think it's going to be instead of a Christmas yeah. one. But they haven't confirmed that, that yet. Either way, they said there's going to be a special. I yeah, think, but that rumor came out a couple of weeks ago saying, "Oh, they're going to change it to a New Year's one," which I'll be fine with. It's not yeah. that bad. It's only a week's difference. Yeah, I mean it is a tradition since two thousand five. They've had. It would be weird to not Christmas sit down special. and watch Doctor Who on Christmas Day. Yeah, but I feel like it's just. I guess you'll have to watch Shrek or Harry Potter. Oh no, <laughs> it's oh, well. always on. I'm ashamed. Okay. <laughs> yeah, oh, this is going to be a nightmare to edit down. I feel like that's going to be really difficult. And we've been talking for like, I don't know how long afterwards. But yes, that was The Woman Who Fell to Earth. And I loved it. I'm really hyped for the rest of the series. <sighs> I just really want it to be Sunday. Oh, I know. 
Does it even? I mean, it feels like Saturday because I just watched Doctor Who. New yeah. Doctor Who. It feels weird to have watched new Doctor Who. You've got uni tomorrow mm. in the morning, then, yeah. so you've got to get up. I'm doing. I'm gonna finish now, edit this, and then Walking Dead will be on. I'll oh. edit that. Oh. I'm just not gonna sleep. I think. But that's fine. And I'll just stay here. And yeah. Not help. Sundays are gonna be nightmares. But that's fine. For Doctor Who and Welcome well, to That's the choice you've made. It is. I've made this choice. Unless everyone hates us doing this. Yes. Yeah, <laughs> oh, I hate the new guy. Oh. Oh, come back. Yeah. Just oh. like putting the Jodie Whittaker mask. Yeah, that's it. This is a completely new person. <laughs> this is not the same guy as before. Yes. This is Sonna. Oh. My new friend. New housemate. The other one left. This yeah. is uh, this guy. He, he moved out. Hair. He moved out because you guys didn't like him. Uh-huh. Uh, uh, yes. Anyway, on the tangent. Uh, really good start. I feel to series eleven. I mean, we'll see how everyone else felt about it. Yeah, that'll be interesting. But yeah, um, very excited for next week. And thanks for watching. Good day. I see that. <laughs> no. Way.